Hey everybody, how are you doing today? So we're gonna try and play with the PlayStation 2 emulator on the Android and see the Redmi 9 if can handle the situation here. So let's start with the Devil May Cry. That's too high volume. The speaker is actually good for the price to be honest with you. Okay, so we're just gonna go straight up to the game and see how it actually plays. Oh, so it's uh, kind of slowing down, and uh, yeah, not much. So, uh, it's very, very slow. And you basically, okay, so let's just conclude right here. The gaming uh, performance is very slow right now. And if you look at the setting, let's take a look at the setting here, graphics. It says 2x resolution, stretch to screen, and GL. Let's try to open it, but still, you know, um, everything else is well put. So it's hard to hard to be hard to run on this uh, phone, guys. So yeah, the PlayStation 2 and uh, maybe some games gonna be played very very small unintensive game I put the Devil May Cry uh, because it's a very intensive uh, graphical game and it's very demanding so that is why actually uh, we're gonna give it another try and we'll see what we can get out of this two millenniums ago two millenniums ago Okay, so the performance is a little bit, um, no, it's the same, it's the same, you cannot just uh, play this game, it's really hard. Anyways, uh, this is regarding the PlayStation 2, so what I'm going to do right now, I'm going to go to Dolphin Emulator, and we're going to try the... Xenoblade Chronicles and see if it actually can be played and by the way I think it's on Vulcan, let me double check it's on Vulcan so we'll put it on OpenGL and we're gonna go there so this game is very intensive uh, it's a Wii game and it actually takes a lot of uh, power so that's where we, we want to test this MediaTek chipset see if it's actually capable to play such a game it's a beautiful game I, I actually played it uh, on my uh, Zephyrus G14 you go check out the videos the loading screen just wait a little bit so with this price point I really cannot find any phone that competes any close to this unless you are going jumping a little bit in a price and get the Snapdragon 730G uh, and this is a big step from this ch uh, chip uh, because I'm comparing this with the 710 when it comes to the Snapdragon uh, any Snapdragon 710 ago, the world was nothing more than an endless sea introduce uh, so you're comparing this chipset with the uh, Snapdragon 710, okay, it's a previous generation Snapdragon, but when it comes to Snap Snapdragon 730G uh, and 7, uh, I mean not the, the higher the higher version, I'm talking about the 730 and not the 765, so this, uh, the 730 is superior to this chipset, 
enemy. So let's see, look at the gaming now. Let's see if actually this is capable. Oh, not at all. Too much stuttering. Yeah, unplayable. Sorry. So yeah, emulators. I do not recommend using emulators if you want to buy this phone. Uh, unfortunately, you have to have a bigger, better chipset to handle these games. I mean, when it comes to the uh, Dolphin and PlayStation 2 emulator. So thank you guys for watching. Take care and see you guys later.